Hey dudes, welcome back to my channel. I'm That Fat Guy and it is Sunday afternoon and today's gone a little too quick for my liking. I'm uh, just chilling out here with my strawberry man shape. And um, yeah, today's going all right. I uh, am recovering from a cheat meal <laughs> from last night. Uh, and to be honest, when I say recovering, I feel absolutely fine. I felt great after eating it and uh, this morning I didn't feel any different. I went for a large zinger box from KFC. The drive through was ridiculously long. I'm talking like half an hour wait because you can't go into the restaurant anymore and our local KFC seems to be a hot spot for a lot of uh, families who um, will get the great big buckets and everything like that. So here I am just sitting in the car, listening to a podcast, just waiting, looking at that KFC thinking, why am I doing this? <laughs> I had a lot of time to ponder my decision and I was just like, oh yeah, just do it, do it. And I loved it. It was just fantastic to have a cheat meal. And it's very important to have those cheat meals because if you live in a diet of total exclusion, your body will get used to that and then you'll burn less calories and there's a whole science around it. I won't pretend to fully understand it, but uh, cheap meals are important apparently, so <laughs> I indulge. <laughs> but it was great to have that and uh, today it's just been spending time with the family and I needed to wash the car. The daily driver really needed a wash and uh, I came across a little surprise. Hey dude, so I'm just out here giving my car, my daily driver, a bit of a spit shine, a bit of a wash. It's uh, well and truly overdue and uh, hopefully it doesn't rain, uh, but it really needs it because uh, the missus has been driving it to work and parking it under trees that are dropping sap on it and uh, that's not good for the paint. Um, but I couldn't help but notice this, right? Take a look at this. Oh, now... <laughs> That car, that exact model, is the car that I learned to drive on. It is a Toyota Camry CS wagon. Well, I had the CSX Executive. Mine was an 87. I spoke to the owner. This is an 88, and it's just immaculate. Like, like it's polished, brand new tires on it. Like, has beautiful tint on it, and everything is just immaculate on this car. Except for one little dent in the um, uh, the side. The sorry the the front um, skirt but um, yeah it's just this is what I learned to drive on and it brought so so many memories back to me like oh, it's just beautiful and straight away as soon as I looked at the car I was like if I ask this guy how much would he sell it for he'll say it's not for sale and that's exactly what he said so <laughs> if you know anyone that's going to be getting rid of one of these send them my way i absolutely love that car just for the pure nostalgia of it like he said it's got 180,000 k's the car is 31 years old and it's had no issues <sighs> that is the car that made toyota to what it is today that and the same era corolla mm -hmm. beautiful look at it <laughs> everyone's like that's a real piece of crap. Like, why are you going crazy over it? It's just like the nostalgia of it. You know, when you see something that you used to love and you used to just get around in, I don't know, I just, I can't describe it. But um, what did you, what did you learn to drive on? I'm keen to know this. What was your first car? So yeah, it's funny how nostalgia works and rose colored glasses, because I remember my first car, it had all sorts of issues. It blew a head gasket, it was slow. It just, like, I was 17 and I didn't understand the importance of preventative maintenance and keeping up servicing and all of that. I just expected it just to keep going. Uh, and if it broke, it could be fixed. <laughs> like, it eventually got to the point where I just, yeah, I had to get rid of it. Um, but I do, I do love the memory of it. Because I had a lot of memories with that car. Uh, it drove me across Sydney so many times because I was dating a girl uh, that we considered to be somewhat long distance because uh, I lived in uh, the North Shore part of Sydney and at the time she was living way out west, uh, out uh, you know, 
uh, Hawkesbury way. So it certainly required a bit of distance toing and froing, and uh, the car got me there. And it's just, I don't know, it just holds a, a special place in my heart, that little car. I called her Jessie, she was the little car that could. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it was nice to uh, take a look at it. And the, the, the owner was really nice. He, he's, he loves Toyota, he lives and breathes Toyota. He was telling me about like how he could tell you every single part number in this car and, and everything. I'm like, wow, you know, that's crazy. And uh, he showed me the interior and yeah, it's a, it's a fully option, five speed manual, this one. It has all the bells and whistles. And I'm like, dude, it's awesome. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping that he'll say, "Oh yeah, mate." Yeah, I, I was expect. I was hoping it'll be like this old lady that goes out. It's like, "Oh, I'm meaning to upgrade. Tell you what, just give me fifty bucks for it, and you can have it." Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, one can dream. Anyway, uh, what I thought I would do today is go through a few of the comments that have been. Uh, uh, posted by you guys on my videos because I haven't done that in a few days. I've been you know, really busy doing other videos and uh, they've taken up a lot of time and yeah. Anyway, um, getting back to the um, uh, the homemade protein bars, the new flavor that uh, Lloyd sent me that I made up. Had a few comments there. Uh, Amanda Kearns, that looks amazing, dude. Keep throwing Lloyd's recipes our way. We appreciate it and look forward to your daily videos and hope you get your order soon. And yeah, I did. I got my order. I think it was the next day, and I think you commented on that one as well. Um, so thank you for that. And Amanda, I hope you and Daniel are doing very well. Uh, Ryan Hall, um, this is in response to my video. What do you listen to? Uh, well, my question, what do you listen to when you go for your walks? Ryan Hall says, uh, funny, I was listening to your vids while on my walk the other day, uh, and then some of my favorite bands. So thank you for listening to my vids. Maybe I should talk in a more soothing and calming voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, good to have you, Ryan. Um, Shane Beasley, he said, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I ordered the same day as you. Mine came yesterday. Fingers crossed, yours comes tomorrow. Also, do you track your calories with My Fitness Pal? If so, uh, you can do recipes in there and get all the macros for each bar. Um, I said it before. I'm not good with tracking the calorie tracking and calorie counting. I just I'm not like even though I'm really focused on keeping my uh, eating right I just can't seem to find the motivation to go into an app and log this log that log how many glasses of water I had and everything like it's just not something that I do I don't do those things too well and I'm I'll openly admit that I could probably get a lot more benefit from it but it, it's just something that I can't do if you can do it man Use it. It's a great, fantastic tool. I know so many people have lost a great, great deal of weight using my fitness pal. So, um, uh, not taking anything away from that, but it just doesn't work for me. Um, I just can't get around to it. Um, Jace Tooney. I'm not sure what I'm saying there, right? Sorry, dude. Uh, Business Wars and Tiger King podcasts by Wondery. I'll have to check that out. Um, I've been getting into H3 uh, podcasts. Uh, they do they do interviews with like all these YouTube stars and all that. So it's quite interesting that. Any idea on how many calories per bar? No, I haven't worked that out. Uh, I might hit up Lloyd um, or check out my Fitness Pal app and see whether I can work that out from there. Uh, Simon McKay, great video, loving the demo hammer. <laughs> uh, we'll make these next uh, when the maple pecans run, uh, run out. Uh, great, dude. I'm, I'm happy that you like the recipe, dude. And yeah, I love my demolition hammer. It is the best tool. Like honestly, it, like any, if any of you have meat tenderizers at home, just chuck them, chuck them. Get get a handheld demolition hammer because it will just work. But just be careful because if you go. Like it will just, just disintegrate it. So you're going to be little taps, but uh, especially when there's a couple of kilos of weight behind it. Um, Coffee Black, uh, Shane, my mate, he goes, oh, that's awesome, man. I'm going to give it a go. In regards to your love of caramel, not feeling the caramel man shake, I'm a big fan of chocolate. Like it's my weakness. So naturally I went for the chocolate man shake for my first. And to be honest, I wasn't a fan. I put it down to the fact of my years and years of chocolate experience. Consumption uh, knows when it's not real chocolate. Mm. Yeah, that, that could very well be it, Shane. Um, it could very well be it. Like the caramel one, I, ju I just think it's a bit too sweet. And whether I've just gotten used to that kind of salted caramel, kind of like, you know, bit of bitter, bit of you know, sweet. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, but it works really well in these bars. So, you know, if anyone out there is not a huge fan of the caramel as a shake, don't throw out that bag. You can use it in cooking. Uh, Lloyd has also said that he puts it on popcorn, so he gets like the popcorn caramel of the popcorn, no, 
the caramel popcorn flavor. Um, give it a go. That's uh, a lot of fun. Uh, Nashi, and he's also sent me a um, mess, uh, message on Facebook today. So uh, thanks for the, the message there, bro. Um, great work. Keep it up. Obviously, thank you to Lowe for supplying these amazing recipes. My man check should be arriving tomorrow, so my journey shall start on Saturday. I'm very nervous but excited. Um, yeah, dude, I, I saw your posts um, on Facebook as well. Uh, looks like you've got all the right stuff and uh, you're on track to smashing your goals. And uh, uh, we've had a bit of a chat on Facebook and he seems to be doing really well. So good job, man, and welcome to the channel. And Taz, nice work again, brother. Dude, it's always fantastic to hear from you. Um, and then the next day, uh, Ben Jacker goes, I was a bit shocked by the packaging of the man bar. I thought they'll put a bit more effort into it. Does this mean they might only trial it for a couple of months? Look, I don't know. I don't know whether this is a trial flavor. They haven't said in at any place it's a limited edition, uh, much like the, the birthday shake that had limited edition written all over it and saying limited time only. So I think this will be a permanent fixture. I'm not sure whether it had anything to do, has anything to do with suppliers uh, kind of shutting down due to coronavirus. So maybe they just had sample packaging available. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't I have no doubt in my mind that they're going to get the full blown, you know, packaging because they need to uh, on sell them to, uh, you know, your Terry Wright white chemists and IGAs and all of that. So they need to have the, the legit looking packaging. So I have no doubt that that will eventually come, but uh, I don't know when. Uh, but yeah, you know, um, I do really appreciate all your views and comments and messages and love because I honestly, I get I get messages every week from you know a few people that are new and they tell me that they're starting their journey and I absolutely love you guys and I love, like don't ever hesitate to message me uh, if you want to have a chat I'm just a regular dude I'm no one special I've got 260 subscribers and I'm just a fat guy just trying to lose weight um, so don't ever forget that I'm just a regular dude um, so message me all you want it randomly yeah. Uh, otherwise, guys, uh, tomorrow is episode three of Fat Chat. I filmed that yesterday uh, with uh, my pal, and it's uh, yeah, it's really good. And um, I was really quite happy to uh, uh, get him on my channel. Um, and uh, you might know him; he's a human car sounds. Uh, his name's Danny. Um, uh, it, it was just it was really good having a chat with him and uh, getting his insights on his weight loss and how he got to where he is at the present moment. But I'm running a bit long in this video. I um, hope you guys are still around. If you are, just please smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Throw us a like because that tells me I'm doing the right thing. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Stay safe, guys. See you around.